Hey guys, welcome back to The Poor Investor. Today is New Year's Eve and I'm going to be going through some very important numbers to calculate to make sure that you're in the positive when you're doing all this. And this is the electricity cost to all these mining and farming rigs that you guys are putting together. I'm going to go over the details of how much I spent on this rig, how much I made so far, and how much my electricity cost. And I'm going to put all that together in this one video. So stay with me on this one. All right, so a quick update is I'm still mining on Ethermine, okay? I have six cards running, but prior to the six cards, I was only running one card because I was waiting for the PSU. The six cards is actually total time that I've been mining from one card to six cards has been a total of 10 days. Now you have to keep this in mind, half that time from day one to day five, it was one card. From five to 10, which is current, is running on six cards. And I actually purchased two more additional cards to bring that up to eight cards, which I have not installed yet because it hasn't been ready for me to pick up yet. But once that comes in, of course, I'm gonna do another video and I'm gonna go through the details of how I'm planning to expand this motherboard from six to six, seven, eight, nine GPU uh, PCIe slots. But that's for another video. But today I wanna to go over some of the details as how much I'm paying electricity because a lot of people ask me. And since I'm being based out of New York City, obviously there's different costs in, in every state. Here I just have a very dumbed down electricity calculator. Now I have, I just put a desktop computer here just for example, because there's a whole bunch of things you can actually pick. But right now this rig with six cards, motherboard. So this rig is actually running on a PSU that's 1200 watt from Parallel Miner. Now, since I'm only using a 110 on this, the 110 equals out to 900 watt max. Now, unless you're using a 200 volt plug, then you'll get your 1200 watt. But right now I'm only using 110 and I'm my current wattage is at 658, which is what the kilowatt is reporting to me. All right, so that's what I'm using it and that's what I'm basing it on. Running at 100% capacity, meaning it's 100% running at the 658 and it's not going up or going down because it's just constant. So I'm putting that for 24 hours a day and at 12 cents per kilowatt because that's based on my current charges. This is my actual bill that I'm getting every month. Now, this is a little uh, not too accurate because this bill is not reflecting the, the fact that I have running this rig for the entire month. It was only 10 days out of the, the month and I'm not even sure if it even hit this particular billing period. I don't think it does. But I'm just using this as an example because this is my latest and greatest bill and I'm being charged at 12, uh, 12.4602 cents per kilowatt. So I'm using that as the basis of what I'm going to be charged going forward. I'm sure there's a peak and off peak charges and there's a little discrepancy. I'm trying to understand why my supply charge is different from my delivery charge because they charge 12 cents here on the supply charge is 7.37 cents. I'm not sure yet. I'll look into that. I just took the highest of the number 12.4 or 12 cents and i did the calculation so the calculation is per day is one dollar and ninety cents one thousand watts equals one kilowatt so that that is the reason why you're seeing right here this 15.79 kilowatts equals out to $1.90 a day. Each week, each month, each year, the price reflects the current charges of what the electricity company is charging you. Now, right now, this 0.12 cents is very static. So this is has nothing to do with the mining, just the electricity cost alone. So obviously when your electricity company charges you maybe more going forward, this price will definitely change. And this is the price and the numbers that you will have to factor into your profits, okay? I'm going into my Ethereum miner price plus the cost of electricity. Now, right now I have average, which I'm getting right now. The average fluctuates every day and throughout the day. But right now I'm just taking the number that I currently see and it's saying 138 as my average. Sometimes it's higher and sometimes it's lower, but I'm just taking that number right now. Like my current hash rate right now, it's 157.8. And that's just through the website. But if I logged into my Ethereum miner itself, most of the time it's telling me 180 mega hash consistently. So I'm not sure how the website interacts with the miner. And then, you know, there's some discrepancy there, but I'm just taking the average from the website itself. Now, right now it's saying 138 and I'm taking the same wattage 
consumption which is a 658 watts that I currently have running on this rig and the 12 cents that my electricity company has charged me per kilowatt and then there's a pool maintenance fee of one one percent from ethermine and when i do that calculation it comes out to seven dollars and well currently it changes because the price of ethereum changes and there's other factors right mining revenue is seven dollars and sixty cents okay mining fee is point one it's one percent of that so it's point zero eight because it's rounded off and electricity cost is a dollar ninety so it's saying that i'm making five dollars and sixty sixty three cents profit per day now I do get some price differences between this in particular and the ethermine dashboard and what i'm supposed to be getting so let me just go through that really quick so this is my dashboard right now so far in the last 10 days right where right here it says that i've been doing this for 10 days this is my daily earning remaining to threshold i'm just cashing out at one ethereum if I reach that if not I can do a manual withdrawal which is fine but I just want to use this as an example right now see my current is 149.8 average is 135.5 and it's reported as high as 192.1 and like I said if I log into my miner the hash rate is pretty consistent on like 180 to to whatever it is right so right now I have seen this uh, estimated earning eight dollars and 58 cents fluctuate from eight something to nine something so every day every time when whenever my hash rate changes here obviously that number will change to reflect that as well but my current earning is right now is forty seven dollars and eighty three cents that I still have in there now what I want to really show you guys is how much I spent on all this now these this is the numbers here are just for the GPU I'm not calculating the mining rig frame I'm not calculating the motherboard or the PSU or all the other all the other miscellaneous things that I needed to actually build out this entire system which is including the memory the processor or whatever it is some of them I scavenged from other areas so there was a cost associated with another project already I mean like the PSU definitely had a cost to it right now I'm just calculating the GPU because that's like the most of it and the bulk of it right each one of these cards were like 600 to 700 dollars a piece I have purchased right here three four five six seven eight two of them I have not received yet so all my calculation right now is only based on the six cards that I've been mining and the income that I've been earning on it, which comes back to, let's just say the $5.63 is what I'm currently earning on six cards. Of course, the dashboard is telling you otherwise. This is also the six cards that I'm currently running that I've ran for the last five days. But in total, it has been 10 days because I've been running a single card for five days until I got all the rest of the stuff to to build out this frame so right now i spent these cards are included with tax so it's the retail msrp of the cards plus tax and then there was one card that uh because i spent so much i actually got some discounts on the last purchase that i made which is this one i believe it was uh, a 15 dollars plus another five so i had 20 dollars off and and some other discount in there but anyway so my total cost is five thousand two hundred and ninety one dollars and twenty five cents the estimated earning i got the 850 from my dashboard okay 850 i could take this you know the 563 now of course the dashboard one is not the factor of electricity cost so let's let's do some real numbers right let's just take this number for instance five dollars and sixty three cents because we want to be as real as possible right so I'll just paste it in here. This obviously changes everything. So right now I've earned so far $47.87. Okay, we'll just leave that off to the side. Now, days to break even is 939 days. All right, like we can say 940 days. And basically what I'm doing here is taking this amount that I've spent on the GPUs divided by the amount estimated earnings that I'm making per day, which is $5.63. So that comes out to 939 days or 940 days. And then 940 days divided by 365 becomes two and a half years, all right? So that's basically saying it would take me two and a half years to break even in order to get back the $5,291, more or less. And obviously that can all change depending on the price of Ethereum from now to that day. If it increases, or let's just say I earned one, right? Let's just say I earned one Ethereum from now until whenever they decide to change to ETH 2.0. And I have that one coin. Right now, that one coin's worth is $3,721. There may be a potential 
let's just say if I earned one coin and I can no longer mine it anymore, the coin price can reach, let's just say, $5,291. And that would be my break even. Or it can go the other way. Ethereum just drops down to like 200 bucks or something. Then I'm really out of luck. Yeah, I mean, it is a, a long term, but it was very fun to do all this because it, it got me thinking like, okay, I mean, I enjoyed buying the GPUs and building out this rig, which I thought was really awesome. And it was really fun. And I still think it's fun because every day I'm analyzing it, tweaking the max power that I can get out of these GPUs to get the highest hash rate. So right now, right before I started modifying each one of these cards, this watt, this kilowatt, because the cards were running so high, almost like at 100 watts per card, this thing was clocking in like 800 something watts like constant the fact that i actually got it down to like 658 was really like a huge achievement of mine to just keep on bringing down the wattage as low as i can go while maintaining like a 31 to 32 mega hash per card was a, a real challenge because it, it crapped out many times i had to up it or i had to lower it back down uh you know with the the memory and the gpu the voltage i'm learning as i go so right now it looks like you know, based on the current prices and how much I'm earning each day, unless all this changes really dramatically, I'm looking at about two and a half years out. Guys, this is a, a deep dive into how a poor investor would analyze this project. Is it a go? Uh, definitely, it's it's fun. It's been really fun. I would definitely put a video like this, similar to my Chia stuff, on the wattage because I haven't even analyzed that. I know it's a lot lower. I actually look at it every single day. It's maybe even more than half of the wattage that this mining rig is using. But guys, I wanna thank you. Please hit that like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again really soon.